Hey friends, welcome back to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Nicole, and today we're talking about ischemic strokes. In our review, we'll also have a memory tool to make sure everything sticks. Let's get to it. So, we know a stroke is when there's an interruption of blood flow to the brain. Beyond that, we remember that there are multiple types of strokes, such as ischemic and hemorrhagic strokes. We're going to focus on ischemic strokes today. An ischemic stroke occurs when a thrombus or embolus, both types of clots, occlude blood flow in the cerebral arteries, and that blockage results in what? Yes, cell and tissue death. It is important to note that this is a medical emergency. More than half of all strokes are ischemic. Catching early signs of stroke is crucial to restore blood flow to the brain. Let's move on to risk factors. These risk factors increase the risk of a clot that may lead to an ischemic stroke. So we're looking at age greater than 40 years old, atrial fibrillation and other cardiac conditions, elevated cholesterol, family history, history of blood clots, hypertension, smoking, and substance use disorder. Now, signs and symptoms. We're going to use a memory tool here that'll help us commit these to memory. If we suspect a stroke, we want to be fast. Balance. Loss of balance. Are they having difficulty standing or walking? Any numbness or weakness in their legs? Eyes. How are their eyes? Any changes in vision? Face. Sudden facial weakness or drooping. Let's lump in severe headache with no known cause here. Arm. Sudden numbness or weakness in the arm. Presence of arm drift in one or both arms. Speech. Difficulty speaking. We may see slurred or garbled speech. Maybe difficulty swallowing? Time. T stands for time. It's not a symptom, but it's the most important part of the memory tool. You need to note the time symptoms started and call for help right away. Remember that time is brain. The longer the client doesn't get treatment, the more the brain tissue is damaged. Once identified by CT scan, interventions are quickly implemented to prevent further tissue death and perfuse the brain. Clients experiencing ischemic strokes commonly receive a clot-busting medication. This is known as tissue plasminogen activator, TPA and it must be given within three hours of the onset of symptoms. If an embolectomy, which is a mechanical procedure to remove a clot, is indicated, it should be completed within six hours of the onset of symptoms. This procedure, along with the carotid stent placement, is a great intervention for our clients who are unable to receive or are outside of the window to receive TPA. Are you noting something here? Let's move on to nursing interventions and talk about a common theme here. Our nursing interventions will include swiftly assessing airway, breathing, and circulation, along with neurological status. And that theme I was mentioning? Time. Time is key in the treatment of strokes. Record the exact time of when symptoms started. So what's our next step? Call for a rapid response, alert providers, and the stroke team. Then we'll start immediate treatment like giving oxygen, getting IV access, starting frequent vital signs, and putting the client on cardiac monitoring. Then, we're on our way to transport the client to CT. In real life, this is all happening nearly at the same time. Once the client is stable, they'll have an interdisciplinary care team that'll likely include physical therapists, speech therapists, and dietitians to help with any deficits that the client experiences after their stroke. Complications and safety concerns related to ischemic strokes depend on the area of infarct in the brain. So clients may experience changes in language function, cognitive abilities, motor function, and sensation. These complications can increase the client's risk for falls, aspiration, bleeding, and impaired skin integrity. If the client received TPA, we'll definitely want to watch out for that bleeding. A red flag for clients that are recovering from an ischemic stroke is decline in neurological status. A decline from their new baseline can mean increased bleeding or increased intracranial pressure. If this happens, call for help. Okay. How can we help our clients that are at risk for experiencing an ischemic stroke? Definitely want to coach them on lifestyle changes. So if they have any modifiable risk factors like smoking, we should encourage smoking cessation. We also want to teach them and their family how to identify stroke symptoms and what to do if symptoms are present. Okay, that wraps it up for us. Here are the materials we used in this review. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to Blueprint Nursing's channel. Check out Blueprint Nursing across all social platforms and definitely look at our live study group options. See you later.